quick reminder about Yala Maritime Voyage system. Hi guys, Captain Yevgen is here with you and you are on Estomar channel. Today we will talk about the different boys and we will not learn them, but we will prepare ourselves for the interview or evaluation. These questions are commonly asked during when you have interview for the job offer or when you are like in the area of Adnok or Aramco and the questions about the boys also can appear and normally it is not like this like okay what is this boy what is this boy what is this boy yeah so normally uh, it is like okay describe me what is the flash how does it look like uh, what do you know and that's it so we will just go briefly about the boys because we are valuing our time and then uh, i will stop on normally uh, mistake answers which personally I received when I asked about these boys so uh, you probably uh, see my screen I hope so I'm in my uh, working environment not home not in my office uh, and I do what I can and I hope you will forgive me if something is wrong something goes wrong then I do my best I do the content and actually I appreciate if you write some comment if this content is good or what would you uh, advise to improve so most of you will find on most of the vessels uh, NP735 of uh, Admiralty uh, it's like quite thin book I don't have it just with me maybe I will go on one of my vessel next time I'll put an Instagram about this uh, quite thin book and uh, the IALA stays for International Association of Lighthouse Authorities you can see right here right uh, but the modern name now it's called International Association of Maritime Aids to Navigation and Lighthouse Authorities I didn't face a difficulty or at least a case when the person failed interview or evaluation if he could not answer what uh, does uh, IALA states for but it's better to know then a uh, quick overview yeah we have uh, uh, different areas yeah A and B yeah, I will minimize a bit here here we are so normally if you have kind of evaluation and you are some certain area like in the Gulf area here you have IALA A which means red light or whatever as a boy color and flashlight is on the left side of the channel and the green is on the right why I don't say port and starboard because it's um, uh, let's say referred when you are entering the port entering the harbor entering the channel from the open sea the red should be on the left the green should be on the right in yellow a and opposite in uh, yellow b so that uh, somewhere yeah, in the area of uh, north and south america of japan you can see here it is opposite the green is on the left side of the channel and the red is on the right side of the channel and we go furthermore what we can see can conical pillar spherical spar yellow a as we discussed on the left we have red on the right we have green and on the red we have on top some square shape on the right a green a part of this uh, red and green we have yellow a special marks they have uh, the shape of x on top might not have but they are of yellow color they usually indicating um, the limits of some areas and so on so that you recognize that you are entering or you are close to some area we have cardinal boys will go closer to them we have this 
pillars which uh, still not many people can answer what does it mean and we have this uh, isolated danger boy for example so on this stage i would pr prefer to pay your attention so it is usually when you have evaluation or interview you don't have picture yeah that's why uh, i would be able with pleasure to put here uh, 3d graphics and again to describe all the boys from the beginning but this is not the aim of this video the aim of this video is when you talk when you talk like i'm talking to you you can name and answer and name the boy and answer the question for example the uh, interviewer can be also different and for example he's saying like this you take, take some torch in the in the hand and making like this what is this so you have your heading on the vessel and right at the head of your vessel you can see two flashes what does it mean so we can go this way or uh, the same boy uh, can be asked differently okay describe isolated danger boy why is that important because you know, normally if you are entering some narrow channels the captain is on the bridge or you are the captain you can maybe have pilot and so on but when you are in open sea it can still be isolated danger it's marked and you really should know how to recognize it and what uh, to do how to act yeah on the chart isolated danger is uh, marked like this there's a black red black brb so the same uh, the the color of the boy is also black red black on top two vertical uh, shapes spherical and um, you it, it's a tip how to remember you have two shapes two flashes yeah two shapes two flashes easy to remember and then uh, we unfortunately get used to the situation when we have something what is a stop item is something like red like on a traffic light on the signs on the road and we get used to red it's a no-go so people straight say the two flashes of red light but then what is uh, lateral boy for it's also red and clearly even even here if you go I, I, I don't remember if it is close to here or not they describe a lateral boy which can give different uh, yeah here here we are you see right here two flashes even somebody you see um, put the line under the underlined two flashes red and this is clearly not uh, isolated danger so isolated danger is two white flashes so also here um, normally if somebody wants just to check if you really deep in knowledge they will ask you the uh, boy of preferred channel preferred channels it means then when you are entering I will go to the picture above when you are entering uh, for example some narrow channel and you have like kind of the the, the root divides <coughs> into two parts yeah so and you are probably first time in this area and you have no idea to, to choose which one to to the to your left or to your right to the port side to the starboard side and then everybody is confusing uh, if we see this uh, indication of preferred channel boy where to turn always forget so if we are on Iala A uh, so on this uh, boy we have more green yeah so it means the preferred channel as a thick line you can see is on your left so you go to the to, to the left the port side so but it's confusing yeah so what we remember is from which side we need to leave the boy to to remain the boy to pass the boy on which side so to continue to follow the main channel so if it is more green then you leave us on your starboard side on yala a uh, system and you will continue with the preferred channel with the main channel 
Okay, enough for the uh, this. Yala B, it is opposite. I will not put too much attention on it. We already spent so much time. Um, cardinal boy. Yeah, so I will also minimize a bit. Okay, as it is. Simple, we have point of interest or some shallow, or some danger. And we have uh, yellow black boys, which marks uh, where well, you will see that two points up, the black is up, two points down, this uh, triangular, uh, the black is down, so we go up and uh, down, so the black is referredly, and then they point to each other, the black is in the middle. So the, we understand that, that we need to pass on this side of the of the earth yeah let's say on the north side on the south side uh, on the east or west uh, when we see this cardinal boy so if you pass on the north side of the cardinal boy which is north cardinal boy then we will be safe if you go opposite then we are in danger yeah uh, also they have flashes white uh, flashes and uh, on we, we use it as a uh, clocks yeah so we like we have some 12 3 6 and 9 but the north cardinal boy it doesn't flash 12 it uh, flash quick or very quick let's say continuously flashing so the east cardinal boy is 3 flashes the west is 9 and we need to remember that the south is not only six, but six and long flash. The reason is why if you have waves, rough weather, and you're counting, for example, it's uh, very easy to, let's say, miscount nine flashes and uh, count like six and uh, recognize this uh, boy as a south one and in fact it is a west one so to make a mistake so the the south one is six with long flash so we already spoke about isolated danger i don't have much to add here you remember two flashes like you know two eyes you need to pay your attention yeah both eyes on this isolated danger and so on so two spherical shapes on top to black ones of course uh, then safe mark safe water mark normally such mark used as a center line mid channel or landfall buoy or to indicate the best point to pass under the fixed bridge yeah so nothing to add when we are entering some narrows normally close to fairway buoy which normally marked as a safe water mark is uh, red and white straps with the red spherical shape on top so uh, the pilot is uh, on and off yeah so we are taking the pilot or pilot disembarks uh, next to this uh, boy and also when uh, outbound vessels are coming they live on their port side incoming also on the port side so they're passing clear uh, what can be for example isophase flash which means the light it turns on and turns off the same period of time occulting which means we see more the light than it is off so it, it much it's a bit longer yeah this uh, light on than off opposite to flash when the flash is just short period of time is on and then it's off for some time yeah so like this long flash every 10 seconds or it can be morse signal a which means short and long special mark boys we already discussed and they have variety of uh, flashes with the yellow color light and 
marking new danger. So here is description when the new danger it can be marked as with the lateral boy, with the cardinal boy, but this uh, yellow blue strap boy uh, actually with the same color of flesh as uh, blue and yellow is emergency wreck marking boy. So when recently discovered rock or just a uh, short time from the vessel which sank and uh, we don't know yet the least depths above this navigational obstruction so we, we also did not plot yet on the chart we didn't receive a correction with the uh, notice to mariners uh, information so these obstructions these navigational hazards are marked with the this yellow blue strap boy with the upright yellow cross on top i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have something to add then please let me know we'll look forward the feedback from you or you want to share also with your experience with others please let me know and you're welcome to join estomar educational platform